Hi guys, here is Julie aka Indigo Handmade Design. In today's tutorial I'm going to sh show you how to crochet these lovely fingerless gloves in under two hours. And also if you want to see more free tutorials go ahead and subscribe, like, ring the bell so you get notified every time i upload a new tutorial and you can also um, leave me a comment down below this tutorial and let me know what you think about these fingerless gloves or if you have any questions uh, crochet related so don't hesitate to leave a comment and with that being said thank you all for joining me today um, and for watching and i see you soon with a new one bye bye okay so to make these fingerless gloves so this is how it's going to look like you are going to need uh, i am using a uh, weight three yarn it's a blend of acrylic and cotton in addition to the yarn you are also going to need a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook you are going to need a pair of scissors yarn needle for the sewing and stitch markers okay so um, the measurements for this finger uh, fingerless glove it is uh, my panel 20 centimeters wide and uh, 19 centimeters high so this is enough for my um, for my hand see so this is the measurement that you need to take if you are working with uh, another yarn or um, you have uh, smaller or larger hands so this measurement is the one you need to take so if you are making a um, larger a, a larger size you can either um, switch to a 5 millimeter hook and keep the same stitch count for a smaller size go ahead and take a 4 millimeter hook or what else you can do is changing the um, um, count of your stitches so uh, instead of a 13 on the inside of your hand and 13 on the outside you can work only 12 so you are going to have less um, ribbing rows so you can make 12 and um, 12 or maybe um, 11 11 so you kind of need to change the um, uh, count of your stitches okay so we are going to start by making um, the ribbing and for this take your yarn and your 4.5 millimeter hook and make a slip knot and now chain 11 keep a loose tension Now we are going to go back in the second chain from the hook and make one single crochet and then one single crochet in each chain across. At the end of your first, first row you are going to have a total of 10 single crochets. If you are a beginner go ahead and put a stitch marker in your very first stitch which is this one right here
So this is your first row. Now you are going to chain one to step up. This is your turning chain. It doesn't count as a stitch. And in your very first stitch, you are going to make one regular single crochet. So you have this V right here. This is your first stitch. You are going to go under both loops to make one single crochet. And from now on, to make the um, ribbing, we are going to single crochet into the back loop only. So this is your front loop and this is the back loop. Go ahead and single crochet in the back loop only. Now you are at the end of your row, so this is your last stitch. Now you are going to pull your stitch marker out. And in your last stitch, you are also going to make one regular single crochet. So you are going to go under your front and also under your back loop and make your single crochet. So this is your second row and you are going to chain one, turn your work, one regular single crochet in your first stitch and then work again in the back loop only until you have one stitch left and in there you are also going to make one regular single crochet. So I am going to work my remaining rows of camera. Now go ahead and make a total of 26 single crochet rows. Okay, now if you are a totally beginner, now let me show you how you can count your rows. Now I know I have here a odd, a even numbers of um, rows because my uh, slip knot, so my beginning tail, it's down here and my working yarn, it's up here. So, this way you always know that you have a even number of rows. And now to count your rows, you know that this portion right here are two rows. So you have a belly and you have this bump row right here. So these are two rows. So you are going to count this bumpy um, row right here. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So you know uh, you have 26 rows in total since this right here counts as two rows okay and then once you've made your ribbing now we are going to make this portion right here now go ahead and take again your uh, 4.5 millimeter hook and now you are going to chain one to so step up and now we are going to have double crochet all the way down here. So you are going to have a total of 26 half double crochets. So your first chain doesn't count as a stitch. Now you are going to yarn over and go in this row. Since you have 26 rows, you are also going to have a total of 26 half double crochet. If you are a beginner, Please use a stitch marker. So this is your first stitch right here. Now you are going to go in your next row, which is this one here, and make one half double crochet. And again, yarn over this row here, your valley. 
half double crochet now this row here half double crochet okay now go ahead and make one half double crochet in each row and i'll meet you back here okay so now you have 26 half double crochets so once your uh, glove is done we are going to fold this like so in half and on one side you are going to have a hole for your thumb so um, you need to uh, count your stitches so on the inside of the glove you have only half double crochets and the pattern it's going to be only on the outside so um, on the inside you are going to have 13 half double crochets and the pattern that we have here is also worked over 13 half double crochet now you are going to chain one to step up and in your very first stitch make your first half double crochet and then go ahead and use a stitch marker So that you know this, that this one here is going to be your first stitch now go ahead and half double crochet in your next 12 stitches Okay, so we have now the inside of the hand uh, so you have a total of 13 half double crochets I'm going to put a stitch marker in there so use a stitch marker if you are a beginner or if you need to use a stitch marker now we have our remaining 13 um, stitches now we are going to half double crochet in the next two one and two and now we are going to make a puff V stitch so you are going to yarn over you are going to skip one and in your second stitch we are going to make a puff V stitch and for this you are going to yarn over and then go in the stitch and pull up a loop keep a loose tension and then again yarn over in the same stitch pull up a loop loose tension and one more time yarn over in the same stitch pull up a loop and close your half stitch like so and now you are going to chain one and yarn over and in the same stitch we are going to make another puff stitch I have one two and three times yarn over and pull through all of your loops okay now without chaining we are going to make three half double crochet so you are going to yarn over and you are going to skip the next stitch and in your second stitch you are going to make your first half double crochet so one and in the next two and in the next three and now we are going to make another puff stitch so you are going to yarn over skip uh, skip one stitch and in the second one we are going to make a puff v stitch one two and 
three. Now close your puff stitch, chain one, and again in the same stitch, you are going to have one, two, three, and close your puff stitch. And now you have uh, three stitches left. You are going to skip this one, and in your last two stitches, you are going to make one half double crochet. One and two. You can take your stitch marker off like so. Now we are going to repeat this row right here two more times. So I'm going to show you how to start. So you are going to chain one and turn your work, half double crochet in your first two stitches. So you have one and two. Place your stitch marker in your very first stitch. Now over this uh, puff V stitches, we are going to make also puff V stitches. So yarn over and go right here in your one chain space and make one puff V stitch. And now we are going to have three half double crochets. One, two, and three. And now we have our puff V stitch. And you have your um, two half double crochet to finish the front of the glove. And now you have your remaining 13 half double crochets from the inside of your hand. So um, Go ahead and finish this row and then make another row like this and then I'll meet you back once I have this done. Okay, now it's time to make these rows right here and um, for this you are going to chain one to step up, have double crochet in your first stitch, place a stitch marker in there. So this is your um, first half double crochet. Now we are going to make four more half double crochets to have a total of five. And then we are going to make our puff V stitch right here. So you have one, two, three, so your third half double crochet is going to be on top of the puff stitch. So three. And then in your one chain space, four. And then in your next um, puff stitch. And five. Now you are going to yarn over, skip the next stitch. And in the second one, make your puff V stitch. One. Two, three, close, chain one, and another top stitch, one, two, three, close, 
and now you are going to skip the next stitch and crochet in your puff stitch one so remember you have 13 stitches on the front and uh, 13 stitches on the inside of your hand so one in your one chain space two three four and five now for these rows these three rows right here you are going to have five half double crochets one puff v stitch and another five half double crochets since one puff v stitch counts as uh, three stitches so you have puff chain puff okay now go ahead and finish this row and then work two more rows with only one puff v stitch and then um, once you have these three uh, three rows done you are going to repeat these rows right here so where you have two half double crochets one puff three half double crochets one puff v stitch and two half double crochets so i'm going to finish um, off camera and then meet you back once i have these rows done okay so uh, this is how it looks like now we are going to make one last uh, row uh, which is a single crochet row and we are going to just single crochet in each stitch so you are going to have 13 right here and 13 single crochet right here so chain one to step up turn your work single crochet in your first stitch one two now the puff v stitch counts as three stitches right three four and five and then you have three half double crochets right here from the previous row six seven eight and you have again three stitches from your puff v stitch So 11 and you have your uh, two half double crochets right here 12 and 13 so at the end of this last row you are going to have a total of 26 um, single crochets I'm just going to stay with you till the end of this uh, last row this is your last stitch right now you are going to chain one cut your yarn leave a, a longer tail for the sewing and pull through like so you cannot take the stitch marker off um, and now we are going to fold our piece so go ahead and fold your um, panel in half on the length and take some stitch markers now you need to uh, make your sewing and leave a opening for the thumb so um, as you can see I've counted uh, my single crochet row and three rows with 
my puff V stitch so these three rows right here and then I placed my stitch marker in this row right here so I will give you some measurements I have five centimeters and then uh, for my hole I have one two and three rows so I'll go ahead and take another stitch marker one two three so I'm going to place my stitch marker right here in this third row and this part right here we are going to sew and also this part down down here so uh, go ahead and thread your um, needle with your leftover yarn and just sew your panels together now you can take your stitch marker off so that you can also sew in this third puff stitch row right and now uh, you can make um, a knot tie a knot and cut your yarn or you can just work without pulling too much carefully And this is where I'm going to start again. Now you can take this stitch marker off. And start again sewing all the way down. Okay, so once you have your sewing done, go ahead and weave in your loose ends and um, put the right side of the work inside out and uh, you are good to go. You just finished this lovely fingerless gloves in under two hours.